Hey everybody, how you doing? Today I'm going to show you a quick video on how to sharpen the lawnmower blades on your lawnmower. Why would you want to sharpen your lawnmower blades? Number one, it's less stress on the motor of your mower, so the sharper the blades, the less your engine's having to work to cut that grass. Two, your grass is going to look better once you're done cutting it. So, if you don't know how to get the blades off of your lawnmower, I have a video on how to remove that. It's very simple, it'll take you about two minutes. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that out. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sharpen the blades. Once you get the blades removed, you're going to have to inspect it to determine if it needs to be replaced or if there's still enough edge on it that you can sharpen it. For example, this one I just took off my riding mower. You can see there's a couple chinks out of the blade here, but nothing significant. If you had huge gouges or missing pieces of metal here, you're going to want to replace it. But if you can see here, I have enough metal to work with that I can put a new edge on this. If I go to the other side, what's this side look like? Same story, it has definitely, definitely has some chinks out of it, but there's enough metal here where I can put an edge on it. What equipment are you gonna need to sharpen it? Today, I'm gonna use my grinder. Just your very basic bench grinder. One side I have a brush, metal brush, the other side I have a grinding wheel. We're gonna sharpen the blade with the grinding wheel and probably end up cleaning it up with the brush. If you don't have a bench grinder, you could do it with a file. It's obviously just gonna take you more time. So let's get this grinder going and I'll show you how to sharpen the edge on it. You're not gonna to wanna to put a whole lot of pressure on it. Just clean up that edge, get that edge nice and sharp. Don't forget to wear gloves and wear eye protection anytime you're doing metal working. Let's put the edges on these blades here. Now that you got your grinder set up or your file, whatever you're using, you'll need to look at the blade itself and identify where the edge is that you need to be sharpened. It should be quite obvious. It, it'll be the thinnest piece of metal. So on this blade, this edge right here, and then go to the other side, it'll be this edge right here. So I'm gonna turn the grinder on and get to going. You won't need to put a whole lot of pressure on it, just be real gentle and make sure that you're not taking off too much metal. So. You can see there, I don't have this grinder bolted to the desk. Just after that one quick pass, you can already see the improvement right here. And I need to do a little bit more touch up on this side. So this spot right here is already just about perfect. I'm gonna do a little bit more touch up towards the end. You can still see some of those chunks. I'm gonna do one more pass and kind of smooth that out. Then I'm gonna do the other side the same. And then the other blade, this mower has two blades on it. So I'm gonna keep progressing on this edge, do the other edge and then do the other blade. Here is a side-by-side -side of the blade that I just sharpened and the other blade that I haven't sharpened yet, just to give you a side-by-side -side look there. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I tell you what, that right there is very sharp just from a couple quick passes on the grinder. Now I'm gonna do the other side of this blade and do the second blade here. Now that I have a pretty good edge on both of these blades, you can see the light sheening off of it there. I'm actually now gonna use the wire wheel side of this grinder clean these up, take them down to metal where I can, and hit them with a quick touch just of some spray paint. It's going to keep them from corroding and make them last longer. Hopefully work through another season and we'll sharpen them up, sharp, sharpen them up as they need it. Now that I've taken most of the loose stuff off of these, you can see they're not perfect. I didn't polish them down to the metal just to paint them, but now that I've knocked off all the loose stuff, all the grass that was caked on there, I'm gonna take them out and I'm just gonna spray them with this black, why black? Because it's the cheapest stuff that I have. So we'll go outside and just spritz these down real quick, real light coat, just to add a little bit of corrosion prevention on these blades. I just exposed a lot of metal on them. They're gonna rust quick, 
if I don't put a little bit of something on them. Especially if you park your mower outside, it's a good idea. All right, like I said here, just gonna put a quick coat of spray paint on both of these blades here. No, don't worry about being perfect, obviously. These are gonna be under your mower cutting grass. Just enough to where you can't see the bare metal anymore. I'm gonna flip it over even though it's still wet, but it's a lawnmower blade and it's not that big a deal. It's not a show car, it's just a lawnmower blade. Whew. All right, there we go. Our new lawnmower blades. That sums up today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful to you. A lot of people off the street wouldn't even be able to tell you that these are used lawnmower blades, but I got my new edges on them, coated them with a little bit of paint to help prevent against corrosion. I'm gonna slap these babies back on the mower. They'll be good to go for another month or two. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel. Stay tuned for future videos. Check us out on all our social media sites. Hootie Hoo!